One of my favorite things to do is travel. From road trips to overseas flights, you won't have to ask me twice to go on an adventure. You can read all you want about a destination, but the best way to learn about it is to experience it in person. And whether you choose to go solo with another person or travel in a group, here are some things to do before, during, and after your trip to stay safe. Before your trip, like and follow the local police department's social channels and look at any recent posts for information on areas of town to avoid and the typical crimes that happen in that area. This knowledge will help you know what to look for first when observing your surroundings. If you are traveling outside your home country, review any travel advisory warnings by doing a simple keyword search of your destination using a search engine. In the U.S., you will probably end up on the U.S. Department of State website, and I highly recommend reading over their information and enrolling in STEP, the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program. When traveling alone, make sure someone else knows your travel plans and itinerary. If someone is meeting you when you arrive, make sure you have their contact information and set a predetermined location to meet. Scan your credit cards, your driver's license, and your passport into a document, and then save that document to the cloud or leave it with someone back home who can email it to you quickly and easily. That way, you can access the information anywhere with an internet connection. This is going to help if those documents get lost or stolen while traveling. Next, pack the right clothing and shoes. You want to be comfortable and culturally appropriate for your destination. When possible, leave high value items at home. During your trip, take pictures of more than just the scenery. Every cab you get into, take a picture of the driver's ID placard. Take a picture of the cross street sign near your lodging. In case you get lost and need to find your hotel without overtly giving away where you're staying, and even selfies with new people you meet and hang out with. You can easily email or text the pictures to someone back home. Also, most people have their phones automatically back up to the cloud. If something should happen to you, friends or family could access your cloud and see pictures of the places you were or the people you were hanging out with before you went missing. If you're staying at a hotel, Make sure to leave the key sleeve you get at check-in in in your room. You don't want to advertise where you're staying and your room number when you're out in public. When possible, request a room on the second through sixth floors at check-in. You don't want to be on the ground floor. And the sixth floor is about the max reach for most fire department ladder trucks in case of a fire and you need to exit through a window. Before staying at a vacation home rental, research all reviews on the owners or property managers. And if anything seems suspicious or unsafe, especially coming from another female traveler, don't make a reservation. Another great tip is to do a street view of the address to see what the area is like that it's located in. This will also help you recognize you're in the right place when you arrive, if you make a reservation at that property. When you're out and about exploring your destination, be careful of what you say and who you say it around. You don't want someone to overhear you mention how long you're in town, where you're staying, and whether or not you're staying alone. Use that do not disturb sign and deadbolt at all times. Do not open your door to unsolicited hotel staff. Stay in a relaxed, alert state of mind. Keep your head up, look around, and observe your surroundings. Don't wear earbuds when you're out walking around and choose well-lit and populated routes to travel on. Most of all, trust your gut. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. Before you leave your place of lodging, be careful with what you throw away in the garbage. Try and keep any papers with your personal information with you to throw away when you get home. 
when you do get home, watch your bank and credit card accounts for any unauthorized spending after your trip in case your cards were compromised. Listen, the world is a big, wonderful, exciting place filled with lots of interesting people. I want you to feel confident traveling to see friends and family and all those places on your bucket list. Taking the time to properly prepare before your next trip will help you feel confident in your ability to stay safe. In fact, as soon as you're done watching this video, your task is to search for the Facebook page of the police department in a destination you love to visit on a regular basis or somewhere you plan to visit in the future and like their page.